Welcome to everything you wanted to know, and forgot to ask. Today we explore the story of, the history of Southern Biscuits. The other morning, I was sitting in line at one of the local fast food joints, waiting for my morning java, when the smell of freshly baked biscuits overtook me, not quite my grandma's kitchen, but I could smell it from where I was sitting. So, when I got up to the speaker, I ordered one of the golden flaky, brown pastries, with a bit of eggs and sausage and piece of processed cheese. While it was okay, it did take me back to my childhood for a few seconds, eight years old grabbing a biscuit, left over from breakfast, off granny's stove, while driving away, I began to wonder how that special, one of a kind, taste of the south, that taste of home, that taste of growing up came to be, and this is what I found out. Here in America biscuits are a variety of quick breads popular in different forms throughout this great big country. They are made from a combination of flour, shortening, leavening and milk or water. This simple dough is generally rolled out, cut into small rounds, baked and served hot. Food preferences and ingredients in various regions of the country often determine what type of biscuit is preferred. I have learned that recipes vary based upon location. People in the north enjoy tall, tender flaky biscuits, people from the south like biscuits with a soft, tender middle and nice flaky crust. Biscuits have been a staple of the southern table since the middle of the 1700s. This classic bread is made in tons of ways, including the very hard to create beaten biscuit, which is made, by beating air into the dough with a rolling pin or mallet with 100 strokes, the buttermilk biscuit, my personal favorite, and the drop biscuit. The original southern buttermilk biscuit was the size of a cat's head, and was made by pinching off portions of dough, rolling it into a ball, and placed in a small iron skillet. This delicious and comforting food has remained as a staple of the classic southern meal up to this day. This modern-day blessing from heaven, originated from a French item that barely resembles its modern-day cousin. The original biscuit was a flat, hard cake that was similar to hard tack, taken from its carrying tin and put back into the oven, hence bis meaning twice and queen meaning cooked, it was a staple of soldiers and sailors for centuries. Today, is there anything a more iconic representative of the lore of southern food culture than a buttery, fluffy? golden brown biscuit sitting on a plate waiting for a topping of preserves or white sawmill sausage gravy? The biscuit is both rich and poor at once. It is so simple, yet so defining. Every southern woman should have her own biscuit recipe, whether it passed down generationally or made from her own experiences in a kitchen. All that is required is flour, butter, milk, and patience. They can be eaten on their own, accompany a Thanksgiving feast, form the base of biscuits and, sausage, gravy were made into a sandwich. Many poor southern moms would make a batch of biscuits to fill their children's little bellies. Some wanted just butter, others wanted jelly, and yet others, ate them plain. But a southern biscuit, whether you are a millionaire or live in a trailer, is the universal, staple food of any southern home and beyond.